Hi everyone! Today I would like to present something in a new video format. Everyone is used to seeing only the final result, my ready cakes, so it seems like making these cakes is simple, very fast and not difficult at all. But in reality it's a long process from the burst of an idea to its final release, which can sometimes take months of work. So I want to show you behind the scene of the whole process of how to create my projects. I will start with this extraordinary and beautiful project, which was a collaboration with popular Spanish chef Jordi Bordas. First time I met chef in 2018 during his masterclass. I attended it like a student. I was mesmerized and amazed by his approach and his working process. Chef invited me to call up in his studio on some interesting ideas, so of course I came to visit his studio in Spain in a few months. For this project I created five different new models and I brought silicone molds with me to Spain and Jordi developed recipes for these molds. You can see here the end result of silicon mold, but of course in the beginning we had to make 3D models and print it. My talented friend, 3D artist Andri Pavlov helped me with this project. He's a tutor in Kharkiv School of Architecture and he works a lot with parametric design. You can see here a step-by-step -step poses of modeling the ferro cake mold and this is the final model that we made in our factory. This is one of my most favorite designs. It looks like a hedgehog or pine cone and you can see how different parameters change its appearance. Okay guys, so this is a story about cakes. That's why of course I have to bake cakes. And as I told you before, these recipes were created by Jordi Bordas. Uh, Jordi is a Spanish pastry chef, he is a champion uh, and uh, he is extremely smart. Uh, he has very interesting uh, big concept, uh, he teaches how to make healthy cakes, he has online and offline classes. Uh, I'm in Ukraine now in my own studio, but uh, I will bake right now all these cakes to show you them one more time. Here we have some ingredients and we will start cooking now. Usually, mousse cakes consist of four or five layers and now we are finishing with the final layer. So we are working with mousse. We are adding all the ingredients one by one and creating a beautiful texture. Then we take the mold and pour in the mousse. To make sure that the mousse fills every part of the mold, I incorporate it with a spatula and go through all the cavities with a special stick. Press all the fillings into the mousse, finishing with the sponge layer. Repeat the poses to assemble other cakes. This one is matcha and wild strawberry. We also have a chocolate cake filled with macadamia, caramel and chocolate sponge and a mini yogurt cake with berries. The most unusual and weird in some sense came out to be the ferro mold. Inspiration for this design came to me spontaneously when I saw a picture of ferro fluid. Ok guys, so I have here uh, ferro fluid it's liquid and I will pour it into the plate. So I use magnet and I put it under the ferro fluid. And you can see how it works. It's really amazing. You can create different patterns. Be careful during working with this ferro fluid because it's actually kerosene 
and if it drops down somewhere it's very difficult to clean it. Ferrofluid is a liquid that is attracted to the poles of a magnet. They are liquids that contain tiny particles of iron. When exposed to magnets, will form the most beautiful motion textures with unusual shapes. I was under a great impression. This is my 3D printer, it's Ultimaker, this is one of my favorite brand. And here is printed model. I printed specially this small ferro plastic mold to show you how I print usually. Printing process is quite long process, usually it takes uh, from one day till seven, five days. So for this model we spent around uh, one day. You can print anything you want using these machines, but you need to think every time uh, about the size. So here building plate is around 20 by 20 centimeters and I can't make models uh, bigger than this size. And if I need to make some bigger models, I need to print parts and then stick them together with glue. Exclusively for this mold, Georgi developed a vegan recipe without any animal product in it. Here we used puree made of cactus flowers, strawberries, mango, passion fruit. The cake tastes delicious, very exotic, tender and unusual. First, we prepared all fillings, baked a sponge and then froze them. And try to incorporate the mousse evenly in the mold, filling all the cavities and wrinkles. Put the cake in the freezer until fully frozen and after the mousse is set we remove the cake from the silicone mold. The last step is to decorate the cake. We covered it with natural glaze using a spray gun. I talked to the chef and took a small interview. 
George's family used to own a family business, a pastry shop. At the young age of eight, he started helping his parents in the shop. At 14, he started learning baking professionally and pastry at 16. Then he took an internship in France and after he came back home, he decided to take part in competitions. The chef has many different major professional competitions under his belt and eventually he won the Confectionery Art World Championship Coupe du Monde in France. I asked chef to tell about his big concept method. When we create a recipe with the concept method, we always start to analyzing the main ingredients that we are going to use for this recipe. When we have the, the composition, we have to create the flavor for this recipe. You know? Imagine that we are going to use uh, hazelnut and we match with passion fruit. You know? And we have to balance both recipes. You know? We have to decide the percentage that we, can, we are going to use in this recipe. And like that we have the balance of the flavor. Once we have this part, we have to decide the texture that we want, no? if we want a creamy texture, if we want a moist texture, and like that, this will help us to decide what techniques we are going to use on, to create this recipe. The Big Concept method includes a meticulously designed step-by-step -step methodology so you can create your own recipes in a systematized and organized way. Having the right knowledge and a working guideline will help you to make the right decision during the recipe formulation process. The step-by-step -step method is divided into four different stages that will allow you to control every parameter of your ideal recipe. We start by defining our needs, for example, intolerances, values, health factors, pastry trends, food costs, etc. And end with adjustments of sweetness and dry extract so that your recipe is 100% stable. With the big concept method, Jordi finally managed to create recipes aligned with his values. Healthier, lighter and tastier. Hello everybody, we are happy to launch our new project. We have been working uh, on this project for a long time and now finally we finished everything. I created uh, five new molds with my computer software like usual. We printed these models with uh, 3D printer and then we cast silicon molds. And Jordi made five uh, new amazing recipes for these molds. Here we have our first vegan entremets. Uh, that consists in a mixture of lychee, mango, uh, cactus flower and coconut and we created different textures and we tried to match uh, these different textures to have something that is interesting in our mouth. Here we have our uh, chocolate entremets with milk chocolate that we've been created and we've been using uh, macadamia nuts mixed with caramel and with a sponge that consists in a sponge that don't have sugar just for balance the caramel that we have inside and then we finish these entremets with a macadamia creamy here we have a cheesecake entremets and we inspired with the mountains on this mall with the Nara and also we create um, a flavors of the mountains we've been using wild strawberry cheesecake moss uh, almond sponge and also we put inside rosemary jelly. The, this is our petit gâteau that consists in two different flavors. We have yogurt, we have raspberry and there is something that is interesting inside it and when you cut you have this liquid raspberry that mix with the other uh, ingredients that you have inside. This is a green tea matcha entremets and in this case we've been working with different textures also with uh, crunchy with matcha matcha tea and we have inside a cherry compote and cherry mousse and we finish at the end with green painting and red painting to have something really modern. Mm -hmm. 
currently the chef has his own school in Barcelona where he teaches students from all over the world. Also, he has online pastry school where everybody can study healthy cakes at the virtual campus. To have the opportunity to constantly work on new recipes, the chef opened the Pastry Innovation Center, a space where the team work on improving and growing every day. I showed you all five cakes that we make together with Jordi. I'm very proud of this collaboration because Jordi is a great chef and this malt is very nice. Uh, I hope you like this video and if you have any questions you can write them down in comments. If you want to share your thoughts I'll be happy to read it. It was my first big video and I hope I really hope you like it and see you in my next videos.